how to connect and release push to connect fittings. Now in this video, I'm gonna talk about quick fitting. Now, not just quick fitting, I'm gonna talk about quick fitting, shark bite and press fittings to show you how they connect and actually how they disconnect. Well, some of them you can, some of them you can't. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about each of them. So today's video is sponsored by Quick Fitting and you can go to quickfitting.com to check out everything they've got. So what I'm gonna tell you about today are push to connect fittings. And if you hang around till the very end, I'm gonna tell you the biggest reason that I think push to connect fittings are gonna be part of the future. So push to connect fittings, they started becoming popular here in the United States in the last few years. And actually they've been popular around the world for a lot longer than that. Now, one of the biggest brands here, you know that I don't like because they tend to have a lot of leaks. And I think there's two different reasons for that. I think the way it's designed and I think the fact that they don't teach people the right way to put stuff together. So I'm gonna show you today actually how to put together push to connect fittings the right way. And I'm gonna compare it to press fittings and show you the differences. But then I'm also gonna show you how to take it back apart. And to me, that's where quick fitting sets itself apart from anybody and everybody else. Now, quick fitting sent me this to give me something to play with. And I gotta tell you, it's actually been fun. I actually sent some of these out to friends of mine to see what they thought. And they're actually like, hey, you know what? This actually worked pretty well. So first of all, I'm gonna pull some of this stuff out and I'm gonna show you how it's made. And then I'm gonna show you how it goes together and how it comes apart. We actually have quick fitting, we have the competitor shark bite, and we have quick fitting copper. Now they make all kinds of fittings, but first of all, I wanna show you where I see the difference, where I see the big difference. First of all, the end of it, the way it's been in real hard right here and actually holds that plastic in place where it cannot pull out. And it's the way it's designed. It's not cold stamps, it's actually molded that way. This one on the other hand is actually cold stamped where they actually bend this in to help hold the plastic down. And you can see you've got an angle there, so that's gonna make it slide out easier. Now, when we see a problem with Shark Bite, it's that this is actually pulled out. Then you've got the Quick Connect Copper, which as you see, it's hard bent in again to help make sure it doesn't come apart. The other thing too, if you look on the inside of these, you've got more surface area here to connect with the rubber, the EPDM O-ring. On this side here, you've got a little bit of surface area, then you've got a big piece of plastic here. Now this is that same piece of plastic that actually pulls out when it leaks. So on the copper now, you've actually got two O-rings. Now, I love that because double surface area. You've got a better chance of it holding, 100% more. Anyway, let's play with this and let's see what it does. So I'm gonna set these to the side and I'm gonna pull out three pieces of pipe. I'm gonna pull out CPVC, PEX, and copper. Now I'm gonna get their reamer out. And I like this because literally you can open it up, slide your pipe in. As you see, we've got half inch, goes all the way into the half inch mark, squeeze it closed and twist it. And it's literally that easy. Now what I've done, it's just barely taken a little bit of the edge off to make it nice and smooth so that when it goes in, there's not a problem. It's gonna slide in, it's not gonna nick the O-ring at all. Now I like this because it's designed for half inch and three quarter. So either one could literally go in here and work the exact same way. Now the other neat thing, see the mark it makes right here? That's your insertion depth. If you look at it, when this goes in, it goes in all the way to that mark. So it makes sure you know exactly how far it's gotta go in each and every time. And you can see, this is a nice little bevel. This is gonna keep it from nicking the O-ring any time that it goes in. Now let's do the copper. Now again, if you look at that, you can see that bright shiny edge where it's reamed it down and you've got a mark right down here. To me, this is one of the most important things that people skip when it comes to push to connect fittings. Now, what I like is the fact that quick fitting has actually made a tool that does two things. It bevels the outside edge and it gives you a clear mark so you know that it's inserted to the full depth. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I already did the half inch. Now I'm gonna show you on three quarter, open it up, stick it in till it bottoms out. Squeeze it right up by the end where you know the three quarter is. Give it a few turns, squeeze it while you do it. Okay, dude, what the flip? Get away from me. It gives you a beautiful edge and it marks it really, really clear so that when you push the three quarter in to where it goes, look at that, your line just goes in. This is fantastic. I love their deburring tool, the way it scores it 
and the way it bevels the edge. So let's put some pipe together. I've got a half inch coupling. You line it up, you push it in. I heard it click, my line is gone, so I know it's in right where it's supposed to be. Now we're gonna take the PEX line, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Now on PEX, we're gonna put the stiffener in there, line it up, and it goes in all the way. So these are in. Now I'm gonna show you how easy this is to take apart. Now, y'all seen the other one, the other tool where you've gotta hold it and press it and push it, try and line it up right. You can take pliers and push them down, bang on it, different things. I wanna show you how easy quick fitting is. And this is one of my favorite things. When I saw this, I was like, wow, that's a game changer. They've got a tool here, literally, you push it on and it pulls apart. Now, that's on. Say I wanted to take this other piece of pipe, make sure this was one I reamed. Yep, there's my bubble. So you wanna take this other piece of pipe, you wanna change it out. You've got a line where the, the plastic started leaking, the copper started leaking, whatever it was, you had a quick fitting in there. You slide this in, lock it in place, push your other piece of pipe in. Now guess what? It's on and it's not coming apart. Putting this together is easy. It literally, it doesn't take a lot of time. It's easy to work with. Between the removal tool and the prep tool, I gotta tell you, these are great, but this is one of my favorite parts. So now we're gonna do it again just to show you really how quick it is to put in, say, a T. And you can tell, you can feel the way, man, it gets a good bevel. You can see how nice this is on the copper and it's just barely trimming the edge off beveling that in to make it slide in really, really smooth. Then line it up, push it in, and make sure your insert's in, push it in. Now, as you can see, this isn't going anywhere. None of them. Shark bite, a little bit harder. You gotta line it up, you gotta push it, you gotta have two hands, get things in position. What I like about this, you just literally slide it right on and it makes it so easy to pull apart and push together. And this is a big one, but press fittings. Once you squeeze this together, you're not taking it apart. You're gonna have to cut it. You're gonna have to cut it carefully so you don't mess up the copper to take this off. Now, why are fittings like this important for our future? Well, labor is what keeps going up. Labor and materials. Now, I'm not saying that we're not worth it. I think I'm worth a lot of money. But whenever I'm running a job and I've got a lot of guys working, I'm trying to beat the cost of my competitors with labor. How am I gonna do that? find something that goes in quicker and easier and won't leak. Once you put these in, they're in. It's almost like solder. You can still take solder apart, it's just gonna take work. You can still take these apart, it's still gonna take work. At least with solder, you could reuse the fitting if you had to. And with these, you can definitely reuse the fittings. Now, if you use push to connect fittings, I'm asking you, have you tried quick fitting? If you have not used quick fitting, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know why not. If you use anything other than brazing and solder, what are you using? Are you using quick fitting? Are you using shark bite? Are you using some other push to connect? Or are you using press fittings? I'm curious because I'd really like to know. Now remember, this video is sponsored by Quick Fitting, and we teamed up with them because, well, they blew everybody else away. Anyway, I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, helping you make more money in the trades.